We're seeing the British pound get absolutely hammered today on a stronger US dollar. So I'll have all the details in today's video, including why this is happening, where I think this market's going, and exactly how I'm trading it next week. Now, before we get into today's GBP video, uh, if you do want my help with your trading guys, head over here to this page. So click on the link at the top of this video, sign up with my preferred broker and deposit $100 or more, trade at least one lot, and you will get a 30% deposit bonus. Plus you're gonna get lifetime access to our VIP group. That includes daily member only videos, plus my help with your trading in Discord. And you're also gonna be able to see my trades in real time. Plus you're gonna get access to the course that launches next week and any future courses, all right? So that's a hint that there are future courses coming as well. So we do talk about markets every day, Forex, stocks, crypto, commodities. Uh, we talk about all of that every single day in Discord. Now, if you are located in the US, unfortunately you can't sign up with my preferred broker, but for anybody else, if you're in the US or any other country where you don't wanna sign up with Blueberry Markets, what you can do is click on the link at the top of this video. And right now, lifetime access to VIP is 80% off. So it's a lifetime access, there are no monthly fees, and even if you spend just one year in the group, it's less than a dollar a day. So to get my help with your trading, you know, it is a very um, inexpensive option to become a better trader. All right, so let's take a look at the pound. And by the way, guys, just real quick, a lot of people say, why do you charge for access if you're a full-time trader? The reason I charge is because it does take a lot of time to make these videos to help traders. And also the fact that it does cost a lot of money to run a website and a trading group. Okay, so I don't wanna get too far into the weeds with all of that, but let's take a look at the pound here, which is selling off significantly today we have a move of over 100 pips now from the open okay so we've seen the market go very sideways here um, for months ever since december back here right between 1.25 and really 1.28 we have seen this market go sideways here for months and it's gotten very very choppy all of this through here was essentially just liquidity traps we saw it close below this upper channel okay channel resistance back here so we've talked about this a lot here on this uh, channel and website where you can see we've got these lows down here. We've got these highs up here and we had a breakout from the pound. Now this was a sweep right here, okay, of the liquidity that it built up from all of these highs. And we got the close below through this area looking like it set up a failed break. Now the market closed back above this area recently and it just started to chop around. So it was really unfavorable to trade here over the past few weeks and really the past few months. But this breakdown is very, significant in that it puts the pound finally below these lows back here. Okay, so anywhere from 1.2495 up toward 1.2535. Okay, this is going to be the area to watch next week. If we see the market close below here today, then this is where, in my opinion, you probably want to be looking for shorts, not financial advice as always, um, but it would be a breakdown from this range following the liquidity sweep that we saw back here. Okay, so we do have a significant, a potentially significant breakdown occurring here for uh, the pound. And as for key levels, you're looking at this pivot down here. Okay, right around 1.2375. Uh, and then potentially areas like this down here around 1.22. Now let's take a look at the DXY because this is really significant. And I'm going to explain to you why this is occurring this week. Because we have seen the US dollar absolutely skyrocket the last three days. Okay, so moves like this are not very typical, especially this year from the dollar, which has been also very indecisive. I mean, the last three days, you're talking about an almost 2% gain for the DXY, which is massive. And the reason this is occurring, okay, is bond yields. And we talked about this earlier this week. And this is one reason why being in the VIP group pays literally. Okay, I'm not one to promote the group a lot, you guys, but uh, we were talking about this right here in the VIP group early this week. So if you were in the VIP group, you knew to position yourself for potential dollar longs. And the reason for that is if you look here at the weekly on the US 10 year yield, okay, this right here, this 4.335% level, this has been on everyone's radar because you can see where the market closed below here, um, back here at the end of 2023, making this up here a failed breakout. Now, the reason this matters for the US dollar and a lot of people don't know this, but the DXY and the 10-year yield track each other almost perfectly. So looking at the, the daily time frame here, you can see that we do have uh, the 10-year in blue and the DXY in orange. And what you can see is that for the most part, right, they move almost perfectly together. So when you had the 10-year yield breaking above 4.335% last week, okay, when the market was doing this right here last week, 
here's what the DXY was doing. Okay, the DXY was still consolidating. This down here is when the US 10 year yield was breaking above 4.335. So what I told VIP members at the start of this week is to be really careful, first of all, about trying to short the dollar. And second, that we could get a bullish dollar move because of this 4.335 reclaim from the 10 year. So this was very much a leading market in terms of what we've seen from the dollar. Okay, now let's take a look at some key levels here for the DXY. And this area up here around 105.8 all the way up toward um, just about 106 is going to be the one to watch in my opinion. Okay, so you can see that we have two prominent fake outs, failed breakouts here on this chart. You can see back here we did have, let me move this over and make sure you guys can see this. Okay, so over here we did have these lows and we had these highs. Okay, now this down here was a failed breakout and you can see following that we did get a nice rally. Now, this up here was also a failed breakout. And of course, we got to move lower and look where the DXY bounced right there at those range lows. Okay, so really clean technicals overall for the past year for the DXY. Now, looking at this here, you can see where this level right around 105.8 to 105.9, again, maybe as high as 106. Um, this area up here is going to be the one now that the DXY has to reclaim. And I didn't think that it would happen today, right? Just because the market is up already 0.8%, but given the strength here, uh, it could very well happen. It could very well happen here today uh, and the DXY could find support here next week. Now, if we do get that, okay, if we do get the market reclaiming this high back here, okay, again, right here in this 105.8 to 106 area, if we do see it reclaiming that today, then we're looking at a move up here toward these highs right around 107. Okay, so 107 would be next, followed by 108. Now, like I've said for months, and it's taken a lot longer than I thought it would to play out, but if you look back here at the weekly chart, okay, you can see that this candle right back here, so this candle from November of 2022, this candle was retraced only partially following that breakdown. So what that means is that there is going to be an imbalance. There is an imbalance up here in this area. So 109 to 110 has been on my radar now for months. And I've said that I think the DXY is headed up here ever since this back here. Now, again, it's taken its time, right? But that's kind of typical too for the dollar, especially when we've had a range here for the past year plus. But I do think though that that's where the dollar is headed. And with this kind of momentum, it could actually happen um, within the next few weeks, maybe a month or two. Okay, so 105.8 is the area to watch, uh, followed by 107 and 108. And like I mentioned in yesterday's dollar CAD video, I really think, guys, I really think that anybody trying to short the US dollar while it is above 105, okay, this area down here, we could see pullbacks. We will see pullbacks along the way at some point. Um, this level down here, as long as the DXY is above this and you have the US 10 year yield above levels like this right here at 4.335. As long as those two things hold up, okay, and these markets are holding above those levels, anybody trying to short the US dollar right now, I think is in for a rough ride. I don't think that's what you want to be doing here. Um, just because, again, the dollar is following yields. And it, when you look at this chart too, with the US 10 year, the most logical place for this market to go now is going to be this high from back here, right around 5%, and potentially, okay, the top of this channel. So if that happens, right, this could take weeks or even months to play out. But if that happens right there, that could represent a very significant move for the US dollar. Okay, and we know that because when we look back here at this portion, this price action from this low up here or down here to this high, this right here is when the DXY did this. Okay, so back here last year when we saw the DXY do this, that's because of what bond yields were doing. So we could be looking at a very um, similar situation here for the dollar, which could, okay, easily take the market up there toward that 109 to 110 area over the coming weeks. All right. So, you know, circling back here to the pound guys, just to go ahead and wrap up, um, we do have the market, you know, potentially breaking below 1.25. Again, where today closes, where the week closes, that is going to be significant. It does look like though, that we will get a close below here unless something changes in a hurry uh, into the weekly close. So this is going to flip to resistance. We've got support down here at 1.2375, followed by 1.22. Um, so again, guys, I favor dollar longs while DXY is above 105. 
and the US 10-year yield is above 4.335. And of course, as for the pound, right, because all of this stuff is correlated, as for the pound, I'm looking for shorts as long as it's below 1.25 on a daily and weekly closing basis, but we do need that close below today, all right? So, you know, timing is still gonna be key here uh, with this market and any market. Uh, you don't, in my opinion, wanna be shorting down here just because you've got support coming in and the risk reward there is not ideal. So timing will be key, but I do favor shorting the pound on strength as long as it's below 1.25. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for daily FX videos. Be sure too to sign up with Blueberry Markets, deposit $100 or more, trade at least one lot to get your 30% deposit bonus plus lifetime access to the VIP group. Have a great weekend and I will talk to you again tomorrow in the weekly forecast.